Willie D. Live. How, how much money did you, what's the most money you made in a single year? Oh, God. I don't know, you just have to ask my bookkeeper because I really, I honestly wasn't paying that much attention to the money. I was. I knew the sales were there. The books were tight. Well, you know the thing. you know the difference between ten thousand and, and, oh, and a of million. Of course, of course I do. <laughs> hey, it's called cash flow, <laughs> and I dealt with cash flow. You know, I, yeah. I, was, I was enjoying the ability, and then when I opened up a second store and what have you, and then in two thousand, uh, it was no, nineteen ninety nine. Mayor Daly surprised me with a visit. I was celebrating thirty years in business at that time because I had opened the store in nineteen sixty nine. And uh, he came and gave me a plaque for the, the years I spent there in Roosevelt. We had like a news conference out front. And he said, hey, George, show me your store. So we go inside. He looks around, what have you. And at that time, they were rebuilding Midway. And then he, he, he came to me. He said, you know, I got an idea for you. I said, thank you, you know, you know whatever it would be. He said, we'll get back to you. I didn't think anything of it. And three months later, I get a phone call. Uh, the mayor wants you to come down City Hall for a meeting. I said, when? They said, Tuesday. I said, what time? They said, 1 o'clock. I was down there at 1130. <laughs> went, and so I'm excited. I go, and I go up there. They say, hey, Mr. Daniels, have a seat. The mayor will be out. And so I'm wondering, where's everybody at? You know, the meeting at 1 o'clock straight up, he opens the door. Says, hey, George, come on back. It was him and I for four hours just kicking it. Mm -hmm. I told him my history of coming to Chicago when his father was the mayor and so on and so forth. Got to near the end, he said, okay, you tell me what you want, and I'll tell you what I want. I said, well, I didn't come down here with any ideas of asking for anything. He said, well, you know I'm rebuilding Midway Airport, and I want you to be in my airport. Can you do it? And I, you know, I'm sitting there trying to be cool, boy. I said, yeah, I think, I, think I can, exactly. I said, <laughs> I think I can make that happen. And uh, the black bank in the neighborhood, the community bank of Lawndale. They they loaned me the money and the whole darn thing and a guy that got rest his soul, his name is Robert Steele. Robert Steele was the head of Lawndale Business and Development before he became a a, 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 a commissioner in Chicago. Because I remember him telling me, he said, George, if you know if anything ever comes up that you need some help with figuring out, just give me a call one day. And when I got this opportunity and they sent me all this red tape and the paperwork you gotta go through, it's not like just renting a store. You know, I got to get contracted. I got to get, you know, designed for the location, the space, space yeah, utilization. Specs a certain yeah, it, it exact, to fit yeah. the space. Right. And so i never forget. I was getting ready to call the mayor the next morning. I went to bed, and I was going to call the mayor that night and said, thanks, but I can't do this because I didn't know how to do that. And then it hit me. said, hey, call Robert. I called Robert Steele. He said, George, bring me the papers. Let me see what you got. He looked at me. He said, oh, we could do this. And it was him that guided me. He helped me get the contract, the thing, my new logo, all the things that were designed. And that store was sharp. Boy, that was a beautiful was. store, man. It was. That, yeah. was. that was money, man. That yeah. was John that was a Jetson cl style. Man, that was, that was a Jetsons. class act, man. Yeah, yeah. That, that was yeah. the Jetson. That was George <laughs> Jetson. Yeah, Boy. that was dope. Yeah, That's... yeah. people were coming through the airport and they see George's. Is that that George of Roosevelt Road? Yeah. yeah. And you ran it for 17 years Seven, in the airport? 17 years. Yeah. yeah. 